My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. got me in there, it got me hooked. Like, I felt like I had stepped into another person's life. This is like really the first e example that I've seen of the VR experience. The initial feelings that I had with The Price of Freedom is a little bit of fear, because you realize how good storytelling can be in VR. It might even just be uh, the killer app that VR has been waiting for. I'm pretty mind blown. I felt like I was in an X-Files episode, but I was in it, I wasn't watching it. And then when I set the whole room on fire, like I was like, oh my god, I'm engulfed in flames, where do I go? What I really liked the most about the experience was the ability to, you know, do a adventure, mystery adventure thing where I could be in a room and, you know, pick up clues. The idea of making me the more active agent in the story and allowing me to actually navigate and affect it in that way was really powerful and I think something that more storytellers should do. And what they've done really well is a lot of times you go into these games you don't know who you are and the game is built around that and trying to discover who you are. They try to engage your, your emotional sense, your rational sense and your, shall we say, your moral sense. It's definitely one of the most sophisticated narrative things that I've seen. I think that the team that made Price of Freedom did a really superb job. I, I want to know what happens next. I want to know a chapter. <laughs> I want to see more, basically.